Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another interesting video. In this video, we are going to solve this question, which diode will conduct in this circuit. Generally, I make videos on academic subjects of electronics like op-amps, digital communication, electrical networks, etc. With this new video, I am starting a new series of mini videos which will focus on solving quizzes, puzzles, tricky questions, conceptual questions related to electronics. This will definitely help you if you are preparing for your campus placements or you are preparing for any government exams like RRB, Metro, etc. Or these questions can be asked in VIVAS also. So it is going to be super helpful for all of you. So today we are going to solve this question. There is a circuit with three diodes and three voltage sources with one tiny resistor and a battery of two volts. And question is about which diode will conduct D1, D2 or D3. And then we will find out what will be the value of VO. Okay. To solve this question, you will need one concept. Very simple concept. So there are two terminals of diode VP and VN, positive and negative. So when voltage at positive terminal is greater than voltage at negative terminal, it will act as closed switch. It will be short circuit. Then if voltage at negative terminal is greater than voltage at positive terminal, then it will act as open switch like this. Now you are clear with what is forward biased and what is reverse biased. Now let's take a look at diode 1, D1. Voltage at P terminal of this diode is 1 volt. Now at N terminal, okay, this negative terminal, there is one battery connected which is of 2 volts and there is one small resistor. Now we do not know the value of this resistor. Now let's assume it is of very small value. So the voltage drop across it will be very negligible. So let's consider 2 volts are coming across N terminal of diode D1. So Vn is greater than Vp, so it will be reverse biased, it will act as open circuit, okay. So diode D1 will not conduct. Now let's take a look at diode 2, D2. Positive terminal is at 5 volt and negative terminal is again at 2 volts. Now positive terminal is at higher voltage, so D2 will be short circuit, okay. D2 will conduct. So your answer is D2 but still we will examine for D3. Now again here is 1 volt and here is 2 volt. So it is going to be again reverse biased means open circuit. So D3 is not going to conduct. So your answer is D2. So now we have to find out VO. Okay. Now this VO is connected between these two points. So many of you must be thinking it is nothing but 2 volt. Okay. But VO is not 2 volt. Because 2 volt is voltage across these two points. Okay. And there is one more resistor which has negligible drop but it has some voltage drop across it. And VD plus this 2 volt makes VO. Okay. So we cannot directly write VO equal to 2 volts. No. So how we will find out it? Now I have just removed this open loops. So D1 was open circuit, D3 was open circuit. I just removed those branches. Now only D2 is in the picture. So there is only one loop. This is the loop. Other are open loops. Okay, so we discarded it. Now we want to find out voltage VO. Now just take this point upward because anyway it is a short circuit. So VO is now here. Okay, this is your VO. And D2 is short circuit. So your VO is now 5 volts. Okay, considering your diode is ideal. Otherwise there will be again 0.7 here. 0.7 volts drop at diode if it is of silicon but considering the diode is ideal your VO will be 5 volt because D2 is short circuit so 5 volts would come across output so it was little bit tricky but it was very easy if your concepts are clear if your concepts are strong and your observation power is strong then you can easily solve these types of questions okay so that's all for this numerical for this quiz if you have learned anything useful from this video, if you have liked this video, press that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.